Hello, welcome to the graduated voice updates. Be ready for the real tea, the tales to tell. Well, in a joint press interview of President William Ruto at State House on Sunday, the president stated that he had a talk with the now General Ogola of the CDF on what happened at the Bombers of Kenya, whereby the general was accused of teaming up with others to overturn President Ruto's presidential victory. Well, President Ruto also revealed that the general was a repentant man who deserved another chance despite his mistakes during the August 2022 general elections, whereby he stated that during their talks, Ogola decided Ogola stated that he indeed accepts that he had made a mistake and the president was allowed to do whatever he wanted to do with him. Well, President Ruto also stated that he reviewed Ogola's track record and made a conclusion that he was the right man for the job based on his CV, that is the job of the Chief of Defense Forces, despite different people stating that the president took this initiative of choosing General Ogola just because he was the deputy at that point, therefore just giving him the like the promotion that he required, that like what was expected in the military that they things are done differently well president ruto also noted that the general ogola was that general ogola was a brilliant was a brilliant soldier who had served his country with dedication and diligence up to the august 2022 general election whereby he made his first mistake publicly and also went on ahead to accept that he had actually faulted at that time imagine trying to turn president ruto's presidential victory and then he calls you to his office you can imagine his reaction at that point he knew wow it is about time that action is taken on me well the president did not stop there he also quoted that uh, the region the region which general ogola had come from had never produced a cdf and as such it was only right for the general to carry the weight of his community and inspire young people to excel and to be specific on this it's the community that is nyanza community that the president noted that there is no one who has come who has ever been a cdf and he did not want a situation where a whole community thinks that they cannot ascend to certain offices and in regard to that he made he made general ogola take this particular position well general ogola previously served as the commander of the air force and vice chief of defense forces whereby now he replaced robert kimbochi whose term ended in april 2023 well the previous chief of defense forces that is Dr. Kibochi and made quite a history for himself by becoming one the first non-infantry officer from the Kenya Army to be appointed as CDF. And also he had made more history in terms of education. Most of the times you're told like education is everything, blah blah blah, and all that. But in this case, the CDF former, that is Dr. Kibochi, he was actually a PhD. Hold uh, well as netizens continue reacting to this thing that the president is actually trying to defend himself in the terms of how he's actually doing his appointment because uh, most are saying that he just appointed General Ogola because of following the protocol that is there when it comes to military appointments but the president went on to state that he had more than 10 uh, around 10 options for him but he still made the decision of choosing general ogola who seemed to be the most fit candidate for the job while most netizens are still accusing president william Ruto of being picky and tribal when it comes to appointment of positions whereby most positions are being occupied by his own tribe or people who are just close to him like he's trying to repay loyalty and uh, tribal and all that i don't know what to take on this you can or uh, you can tell me in the comment section because we have people here like this person is saying kenya is bigger than what we can all see in our very own eyes i don't know what to take on the president's appointments of new positions every now and then uh, the tribes, uh, the money in which is actually doing it. You can talk to me via the comment section. I remember if it's happening, I know all about it. And if I know all about it, I will tell you all about it. So you can choose to like this video, share it out there, leave a comment down below, or even subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get the real tea, the tales to tell.